it's nice to be back in South Africa. I've been coming here, my first ever tournament, I remember, uh, as a professional was traveling down here. And my association with South Africa has been strong through Investec, right through my years. They started sponsoring me my first year on tour and, and still are now an ambassador for them now all these years later. It's been a great association. It's been fun, exciting. One of the things I had as a Ryder Cup was uh, a definitive plan. I had an idea how I wanted us to play as a team. We have in Europe, we have a situation where the players vote for the captain. So it's a, it's a very humble place to be when you're voted in by your peers. I have to say, very humble place. I think embracing the pressure is the big key here. You've got some of the best players in the world. Embrace the fact that you're favourites. You've worked hard to be in this position of being favourites. I didn't want to be the big I am as a captain. I wanted to be very much part of them. I wanted to have communication, buy in from them, let them feed me in a different direction. Some things I took and went with it, some things I said, you know, I don't see it that way, I'm gonna go in this direction. So that's what your job is. Your job as a captain is to filter masses of information coming into you and try to put it into a cohesive unit. And I had a plan. I had a very definitive plan. I had flexibility within the plan so that I could react if need be. So preparation, planning, and flexibility were huge. Gathering all that information was the basis for my decisions, more so than just intuition. Sometimes you can't always trust your intuition. And intuition is important, but it's not the be all and end all. To be honest, I would say it's only 10% of my decisions. My decisions were evidence-based. I use statistics a lot. I use past records a lot. I'm a great believer in that you can learn a lot from history, what's happened in the past. Give me the evidence, show me the evidence, and that's where we'll start from. Having said that, you should never dismiss it. And sometimes I had a little good feeling. Sergio and Rory, I had a good feeling. I really had a good feeling. Even though they lost the first day, I had a good feeling that this was the right partnership. These guys would spark, and they did, and they went on and win their other matches. There's no right way to captaincy. I captained how I see was gonna give us the best opportunity of winning. So it's very important that you're acting on your beliefs. I learned a lot from, from great captains over the years, captains that I played under. And one of those was Jose Maria Lazaba. And in the build-up to the Ryder Cup, I used to share ideas with him and say, why do you need this partnership, this guy with this guy? I'm thinking about this because of this. And he'd always come back to me and he'd say, Paul, what do you think? It's very important, he said, that you do what you believe is right for you and your personality and how you see things. You've been put in the position to lead, now lead. I've kind of evolved a little bit from everybody, taking a template that's been so successful in Europe where we're, we'd won seven of the previous nine before I was, uh, before I was captain. And to take that template and evolve it and, and move it forward. And it's like anything in life and anything in, in business, there's gotta be evolution in what you're doing. If you stand still, you're going backwards. There's gotta be a constant evolution of the principles that work. I had some, uh, some big challenges as captain. Playing at home as favourites for the first time, that was a big challenge. Expectation. Expectation is never a good word. When people expect you to do something, you've got nowhere to go. A lot of the passion that's driven us to win Ryder Cups has come from lots of space to move into. But when you have expectation on, you have nowhere to move into because everybody expects you to play well. So that's why positioning in the media was very important to create that space, not just in the media, but in the players' minds as well too, so that they could move. It's, it's always easier to be, the, to be the hunter than it is being the hunted. And uh, I wanted to position ourselves that way as we were coming from behind. Like a boxer, I wanted us to be on the front foot. Didn't want us to be as a team kind of protecting and hoping that things were going to be okay and, and stalling things. I wanted us to be a little bit gung-ho on the front foot. We had a great team, great players. Probably more important than anything else is the simplicity. The players all know very simply in their heads what we're trying to do as a team and what they're trying to do individually. And every day we had a meeting, it was the same message. Continuity of message coming back in, every day. So I wasn't coming with them with new ideas every day and then they would lose the focus. For me, getting them focused was continuity of message, continuity of message. It's important that we were all singing from the same hymn sheet. Emotion and passion are essential in anything you do in life. You gotta jump out of bed in the morning with a passion. If you don't, life becomes very monotonous and mundane. The secret in life, I believe, is to have a passion to do something. 
whether it be work, whether it be family. If you don't have that passion, it's very hard to be successful because you don't go the extra mile because it doesn't mean that much to you. So passion for me is, is the underlying fundamental behind all successful people. I was incredibly energized and, and as a result, the last two years didn't take a lot out of me because I was doing something I love to do. Growing that little passion in your heart all the time.